Frame family, welcome back to the channel for another tech update video. I hope you're all doing well and staying healthy. It's personally been a crazy couple of weeks for me between trying to create content for the next gen consoles and also getting my hands on one of these new GPUs. I know I said I would cover as many as I could extensively and have utterly failed at that obviously with these supply shortages and I know I'm not alone there with many of you voicing the same issues in the comments section. But it looks like we will get another chance at grabbing a new GPU as early as several days from now on December 2nd when NVIDIA's worst kept secret, the RTX 3060 Ti, is said to be released to the public. Now of course, nothing has been officially stated from NVIDIA yet, so as always, take everything with a grain of salt, but several credible insiders have made this claim for some time now, and that claim is even being backed up by recent retailer listings, including Amazon UK, that show the December 2nd release date. If you have been a follower of the channel for a little while now, you know that I covered the RTX 3060 Ti specs and pricing several times in past videos, but just just for a small recap for the newcomers, the RTX 3060 Ti is said to have an MSRP of 400 US dollars and comes pretty close to the RTX 3070 in terms of performance, with the average delta only being about 12%. Both the RTX 3070 and 3060 Ti even share the exact same memory configuration of 8GB of GDDR6 running on a 256-bit memory bus providing a 448GB per second total of bandwidth. For perspective, the 220 watt TDP RTX 3070 is commonly faster, if not just as fast, as the RTX 2080 Ti. But with recent leaked benchmarks, it looks like the 200 watt TDP RTX 3060 Ti bests the RTX 2080 Super almost always, and not just general performance, but also in ray tracing performance as well, even with less RT cores than the RTX 2080 Super. Considering the RTX 2080 Super had an MSRP of $300 more than that set of the RTX 3060 Ti, this is a major win for those looking to upgrade for under $500 this year, but want a high level of performance to follow suit. Anyone gaming at 1440p and under will easily be able to max out every single game coming out in the near future for several years at least, and any game out right now, on top of being able to provide considerably high levels of performance at 4K for the dollar spent. Of course, I will try my best on December 2nd to buy this card and provide tests on this channel, but I can almost assure you that it will be the same song and dance that we've seen so far this year with other GPU releases. High demand, but low inventory. I hope anyone looking for this card can actually manage to grab one and definitely keep your eyes open on December 2nd for a chance to get an upgrade. But I want to know what you all think about the RTX 3060 Ti and who is planning on buying one in just a few days. Let me know down in the comments below and I'll be sure to engage with you all. Anyway fam, that's all I have for you in today's tech update. As always, it's been a pleasure making this video for you all and if you enjoyed the video, remember to smash that like button so YouTube will show it to others who might enjoy it as well. Please stay safe, stay happy, and I'll see you all in the next video.